how do we know that uh, numbers are the fundamental building blocks of space and time at the fundamental level the clue comes from the singularity the singularity inside the black hole is made of information why we say so imagine a huge star like our sun this star become unstable it will lose its fuel then it will collapse to its center first reduce to the size of a neutron star then it doesn't stop there it will continue to collapse until it becomes just one point so all the content of the star will be confined on one point this is to say that uh, the singularity here is the remains of the star that died since it is the remains of the star if the star was like a dog or a cat that died in our backyard this singularity will be the bones and we use bones in order to extract the DNA and from the DNA we get the information that will tell us the color of the eyes how old the cat was where it came from all of that will be told to us through the DNA and we can even reproduce the cut in the same token when the star dies this is the remains and these remains contain the information of the star of course in the past we have been uh, studying the information about uh, the black holes and uh, we focus mostly on the objects that are falling inside the black holes and through the holographic principle we were able to learn that uh, When an object falls inside the black hole, it will go straight to the singularity where it is crushed. Then everything will vanish. In the past even we believed that uh, nothing could be recovered. But in the recent years, scientists came up with a new idea and they found out that uh, even though matter is gone everything is gone from the object the information that described the object remains preserved on the surface of the black hole and this is a very great development in science because information can never be lost information cannot be destroyed information no matter what are the circumstances will always remain and where to find it we have to go on the surface of the black hole that's for objects but uh, scientists never thought about the information of the star if we had to look for the information of the star, where will we go? Of course, we said the remains of the star is the singularity. Therefore, all the information of the star is compressed in this 
one point. It is called point. In our terms, we will call it in one bit, just one bit of information. So now we know that the singularity represents information. And we have information on the surface of the black hole predicted by holographic principles. So, the problem is how to link these two areas of information inside the black hole. Of course, in order for the information of an object to stabilize here on the surface of the black hole, it must be held by something. And this information is there because of the singularity. That's why it says very well, the object will go first to the singularity where it will be crushed. Crushed means just like you press on the button of uh, your camera, you click, that click just to capture the image. No, so it happens here. The information will be captured at the singularity first. Then the black hole will process this, this information. The black hole will process the information and it will appear in details on the surface of the black hole. So here, where the singular numerical relativity comes into play, the singular numerical relativity will guide us to link these two areas of information because there cannot be a space like this this singularity cannot hold this information without connection so we will build the connection we have to build the structure of the black hole and to do so we will be using the structure of numbers Numbers have a configuration which fits very well to the configuration of the black hole. And that's why numbers are the best to explain things that go on inside the black hole. And it will guide us to find all this information we call entropy, the hidden information that we don't know we call entropy. We will discover it through the structure of a number. And numbers, they have a property that allow them to be in many places at the same time. We will be discussing that in the next topic because we are going to talk about the structure and the properties of numbers. So here now we have revealed everything that uh, you could know in brief about the singularity and the black hole. The most interesting thing here is that uh, we have one bit here and this bit will be linked to so many bits and these bits all are guided all by only one bit. Once you change this one, all of them here will change. And even the number of the bits on the surface of the black hole will be determined by the singularity. The heavier the singularity is, the wider the surface of the black hole will be, meaning the more bits and when you say more, it may be billions or trillions, any number that you can imagine.
and also the entropy here will be big if the singularity is big because the singularity will pull down the fabric of space and time then it widens the whole black hole so if you add information to the singularity what happens the black hole will become bigger and bigger and the more bits we had we, we get here more entropy we get so for those who understand i think you should be happy because it shows directly that we are going to solve a very important problem in, in computer technology we are going to solve a very important matter the entanglement of quantum bits so there is so much to learn about this theory this is an introduction and i will not give you everything so join me as we are going to explore the mathematics that uh, will explain all these things i came to know them not by imagination no because you see this book it has the maths are here so if you open it you will learn by yourselves it's plenty of formulas describing information inside the black hole it even will guide us to make to map the whole information of the universe the holographic predicted a sheet of information that specifies everything in the universe we are going to reproduce that sheet do you believe <laughs> it is true we will do it and it is here so please join me in the next uh, lecture which will focus on the structure and the properties of numbers you will be amazed thank you very much